Hi guys and welcome to Food Review UK. Today we're going to be reviewing, as you know because you clicked on the video, Astinos. This is the this is the last bag that we have to review of the ones that they sent us. Again, thank you to the guys at Pastinos. Um, this is Arabiata. I wish I could do that thing where you roll your R's. Not your, but your chili and tomato. Bit of a glimpse behind the curtain. These are open um, because I tried doing a review just a second ago and my uh, my camera died literally two seconds into the review. I was still doing this bit. I hadn't even I'd opened it. Go on. I haven't tried them yet. Yeah, there's a there's a tomato-y, not a very sweet tomato, it's quite a earthy tomato. I can imagine that's the chili. There we go. You've seen hopefully the other reviews that we've done of these, of the Chianti and Olive, uh, the Pesto and the Can't remember what the other one was. Mascarpone and tomato or something like that. Could be completely wrong. Um, looks desperate on here to see if they say the other flavours. No, they don't. Um, anyway, you hopefully just search Food Review UK. That's the thing. I'm rambling. Here we go. One thing that I realised that I hadn't mentioned in the last two reviews I did, because I kind of assumed that you'd watch the first one that, that the Frack Buddies did um, of Pesto, is that is the texture. It's quite brittle. It's quite. It's very unique, actually. We often compared these to like a, a brittle wheat crunchy and it's probably the best thing I can sort of suggest. That texture is very unique. It's it, it's it's maybe like a Dorito but still even even then it doesn't quite come close to, to really what it is. It's it's sorry, let's see if you can hear there's a lot of bit of crunch in it. Bit of crunch. Pretty nice. I think I compared the last one to tomato ketchup wheat crunchies. And these certainly have an, a, a similar element of that, which is obviously the tomato. It's not surprising. There is a bit of chilli there. It's not massive. That last one I had had quite a lot of flavouring on it. And so that's probably the hottest one I've had so far. It's just sort of a mild bit of heat at the back of the throat. Um, I imagine if you plough through a few, it sort of accumulates. Quite nice. Not bad at all. Yeah, it's semi-sweet, bit of heat, a sort of ketchup-y crisp flavour. It's not it's not out and out tomato, it's not an out and out ketchup, but that sort of ketchup crisp flavour with, with a bit of a punch. Not bad at all. Um, they're growing on me the more I'm having them. I think I'm probably going to give them like a really low four stars. Um, yeah, probably not my favourite, but still pretty good. Um, yeah, I believe, the, I believe that these aren't available in Little Aldi, and I believe Waitrose. Maybe, maybe I've just thrown that one in there, but I'm fairly certain they said it was Waitrose as well. Um, yeah, um, I would be absolutely massively interested to find out if any of you guys have tried any of these, this flavour in particular. Um, it's still one of those products that a lot of people haven't heard of. So, you know, that's what we're trying to do is expand the brand. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, if you've enjoyed this, please throw us a like and uh, tell your friends about us. See you later. Bye. I've had my red burger. Absolute smashing lad levels.